In this video, we will show you how to import your data into Bloomreach Engagement. First, go to Data and Assets and click Imports. You will see all your historical imports saved here. Let's now create a new import. Imports can be done for different types of data, customers, events, catalogs, and vouchers. Each of them is slightly different. Read the specifications of each type in the documentation. For now, let's do a basic import of the customer data. First, name your import. We highly recommend deciding on a useful naming convention for your imports, so it's easier to keep track of the historic imports. Next, choose your data source. You can simply copy and paste your data in either CSV or XML format, upload a file from a computer, select it from a database or online data storage, such as BigQuery or Google Cloud, or simply import data from a different project within Bloomreach Engagement. To make sure your data is correctly formatted, for example, all the time formats should be converted into a UNIX timestamp format. Read our documentation for more tips like this. Before you continue to the next step, preview and check your data. The preview screen will only show you a few lines of data you are importing, so do not worry. All your data gets imported despite it not being all visible here. The final step is data mapping, where you map the data to already existing attributes in the project. The most important step here is to assign one of the identifiers in the yellow boxes. This allows Bloomreach Engagement to correctly identify the customer in the project and update their profile with the new data. If the customer is not yet in your database, it will create a completely new customer profile. Also, don't forget to check whether the format of your data was assigned correctly. For example, you want the first name to be imported in the text format, while the birthday data needs to be in the number format. Then, you simply click run the import, and that's it. You have now imported your data. You can find detailed guidance with specified instructions for each of the import types in the documentation.